We are now moving on to a web series. That's right, Brian. Mm. We are broadening our horizons. We are yeah. now into the TV miniseries. Why not? Um, yeah. This is a, an anthology uh, which has five episodes. This is available on Prime Video if you're in the UK. Uh, and I, th- I believe when I watched it, it was actually included in the Prime Video um, oh. uh, subscription, which is mm. really good. Uh, so it's mm. called Trail of Dark Matter. You think all of that will erase all the evil shit you did in the past? Is that what you think? I have no regrets in my past. No. None at all. No. I have accepted the blood of Christ. My God is a forgiving God. You may have the rest of the world fooled, but not us. I can see it in your eyes, what kind of man you are. I can feel it in my spirit, your truth. You can feel my truth. You know what? Fuck you. Fuck both of you. This follows five completely separate episodes, but they are in the same kind of universe. They, the, there mm. are characters which are shared between some of the episodes. Mm. Um, and each episode is largely co- uh, consisting of two main characters, probably, or, or three at the most. Mm conversing and in, in the same location for the whole piece now mm. on paper that feels quite limiting and it feels like mm. oh okay yeah is it, is it gonna be boring but i actually found every episode pretty engaging and it got increasingly mm. more um sort of sinister and controversial yeah. and the things that they were delving into became quite gripping mm. like any good uh, tv series does mm. um but like i said each episode on its own is still powerful to watch because you've yeah. got these two characters often going through a very sort of rich script, uh, you know, such as like the first episode is like about this couple chatting mm. um, and she wants to know why he left her. And they're going mm. through like all these like relationship problems that they had. Mm. And just that on its own, I found really compelling. I was watching that and I thought, oh, and then there's a little twist and stuff. Yeah. Um, and there was another episode where these two women are chatting in the laundrette. They come yeah. from quite different worlds, but then they realize actually they've got a lot of shared experiences as mm. women. And yeah, I won't, sort of spoil too many of the episodes because I think that it's really worth people watching. But what did you think of Trail of Dark Matter, Brian? Yeah, I, I really enjoyed all of them. I think that as individual segments, you can appreciate them. They have a standalone feel. But you can also watch them sort of in, in one go. I I really enjoyed the the um, the head-to-heads where a relationship's found. So the ones that stand out for me, because there are some, some are better than others, to be fair. But they're all good. Um, Old Flame, which was the the first segment where the woman was having a conversation with her ex-boyfriend. Now, the ex-boyfriend came across as something of a a counsellor or a therapist trying to explain to her why their relationship didn't work out and trying to emphasise to her that it was just as much her as it was him. And I quite enjoyed the way they handled that. And bookending the, the five episodes was Adversaries, where an ex-boyfriend and girlfriend are tied up in a room somewhere. And you think, where on earth is this going? But it was fascinating to see the interplay between those two characters gradually unfolding, taking you to a place that you wouldn't really expect to be in terms of the plot. Very cleverly done. Um, I also thought um, uh, Blood Relations was good as well, where the brother and sister were meeting their father. uh, And the brother had something to tell his father, which, of course, we won't divulge here, but yeah. very sort of um, engrossing sort of playlets, really. They're only 20 minutes long each, aren't they? Yeah. I think the only one that didn't work quite as well for me was Strangers with the two girls in the laundrette. It seemed to, to uh, take too long to get to where it was going. There was something vaguely interesting about it, but probably wasn't as strong for me anyway as the other four. Um, I, I like that one. I was happy with that one. I yeah. thought I found the um, the two characters really interesting in terms of they were quite different. And then, yeah, yeah again, not not to spoil it, there is a bit of a twist uh, yeah. at the end. But and then, you know. there's a twist in all of them and Kindred as well. Um, 
That's, that's the brother and sister preparing for a party. And the father turns up. Yeah, uh, that I would say, actually, I, I like that one. That's probably yeah. my favourite one. They're, uh, they're, they're all good, but as I say, the the um, strangest, I don't know, I'm not so sure about, but, you know, as I say, it's a bit like a, a sketch show, isn't it? You could call, call this um, a serious sketch show where you've got five sketches and reasonably quick fire, 20 minutes each, and they come at you at pace. They all, they all follow a, a similar theme because the, the title of the, um, the five episodes, the title of the series, gives you some idea of how um, conversations can turn into, in a certain direction. And they constantly surprise you. They all do. They're not what you're expecting. Very clever, but like any kind of sketch-based programme, is that some stand out more than others, some work better than others. But overall, very impressed. Really very impressed. impressed. Yeah. As I say, it's available on uh, Amazon Prime currently. Uh, it's Trail of Dark Matter. Mm. Yeah, uh, thoroughly recommend it. Yeah. And we don't often yeah. review uh, web series, but it has become more common now. And I think it works. These, these work well as individual short mm. films, but it also works as an overall piece um, too.